So hi, I'm Scott from SVD Photography. And I'm Emma, his wife. Today we're flying the Mavic Mini. We're going to see if the claims of how easy it is to fly is really true. I've flown model aircraft before in the past as a youngster, so I can't really say I'm a beginner, but I'm going to see a real beginner here. She's going to fly it for the first time and the first everything she's ever flown. <laughs> And then you're going to take off. So it's the left one. So the left one goes up. As a beginner, how easy do you think it's to fly? Easy. Once you get to the controls, I mean, look, I'm now not like originally I was stopping, then turning. Whereas now I feel com confident enough to turn and fly. Ah, right, we're back in the warmth now and out of the wind. Um, it was only a 20 minute flight, so can you tell me how easy was it to fly the DJI? <laughs> um, to fly the drone was easy. Once obviously I got to know like the controls and how sensitive the controls were, then yeah, I found it easy, you know, once you put all that together. I'm no cinematic god, so obviously getting the perfect drone shot, you know, we need to take more practice. But flying it for 20 minutes, um, I feel was all it needed to take to be able to get to know the controls, really. Yeah, so you were taking off, you were landing. Um, With one fail. With one fail, yeah, we have got that on camera <laughs> as well. So you did say you found some of the controls a little bit difficult. Yeah. Um, can you explain more on what you found difficult with the controls? Or? It was basically when the drone was flying away from you, it was fine because left is left and right is right. But it was just trying to get your head around that when the drone comes back and is flying back towards you, that obviously left is right and right is left. Yeah. So it's just trying to get your head around... The perception of actually, yeah. you know, forwards is now different for the drone than it yeah. is for you. Yeah, that was mainly the only difficult bit, really. And, like, panning. Oh, right, yes. So the, the panning shot that we you saw in the previous clip. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, obviously, it was. I know when you were flying, it was. It took a little bit of practice, and it was a case of getting that sideways movement as well as the actual turning movement and balancing it to actually make sure it tracked us fine. Yeah. I mean, you followed me and you tracked me when I was walking through the field quite fine. Yeah, and that that was easy. That was easy enough just to, you know, Scott was walking and I just made sure the drone was behind him at a set distance and kept that, you know, it was easy to keep that pace, making sure that the drone wasn't going too fast or too slow. But yeah, the panning around was what I found yeah. the most difficult. I mean, what, it was about three tries and then you got it? Yeah, yeah. kind of got it down. Yeah. <laughs> One direction. I mean, there is a feature inside the drone that does it automatically, but yeah. we was sort of pushing you through in 20 minutes to see how much we can yeah. get you to actually learn and get used to actually flying the drone. Yeah. Well, there was that one thing actually that caught you by surprise, the return to home feature when the battery gets low. Yeah, that uh, was that. That can be quite dangerous, even though at the time Emma was trying to land the drone, mm. um, it got to 15% battery and decided he wanted to return home. 
at about two foot off the floor. So it flew directly at her, <laughs> even though it's set up to go to 30 meters to fly home first. First, yeah. That was quite interesting. Yeah, because um, I was literally was pretty much at the verge of landing. And yeah, the next thing I know, this drone is flying straight towards me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So as you saw in the video, we did actually fly in an open field. Obviously we talked about perception of yeah. left being right, right as being left. Following the current drone laws, we used all the app to make sure we were flying in a safe place. We've also taken our drone flyer and we've got our own flyer IDs now as well. Although we don't have to register the Mavic Mini because of its weight restrictions, we thought we'd be on the safe side yeah. and get our IDs anyway. So if anyone wants to stop exactly. us, we could actually say, hold up, here we go. Here's our ID. We have passed the test to say, yes, yeah. we can fly. I mean, prime example on our neighborhood watch thing recently, we had <laughs> we had someone complain that they lost a drone and it just flew off on its own. And when they showed us the flight path that it took, it was over a complete residential area, including schools. Yep. And it is gonna be people like that are gonna ruin it for everybody. Yeah, so we thought obviously just taking that flyer's license what harm does it do just yeah. to take it at least okay. we've got it again yeah and that's why we took it to an open field and just yeah. practice we were just there to practice flying it. it this is no way a review about what it's capable of it no. was just a case of how easy is it to fly for a, a new drone for an absolute beginner yeah a real beginner thanks for watching and yeah. see you later see you later